Hey, welcome back and in today's video We know a lot about Mars Argo and it's been a while since I've done a video on her this year so I decided why don't we take what we know put it together with what we don't know and talk about a Mars Argo conspiracy theory first off if you don't know and you're new to the channel it would be important to know exactly who Mars Argo is Brittany Alexandria Sheets, also known by her former stage name Mars Argo, is a singer, songwriter, actress, photographer, and model. She is best known for portraying a fictionalized version of herself in the grocery bag universe, particularly in the video blog and computer show. She is also known for formerly being the lead singer of a band named after her stage persona. Releasing one studio album, two EPs, and plenty of other songs, the band unfortunately came to an end in 2014. After Mars broke up with her longtime boyfriend, Titanic Sinclair. GroceryBag.tv, a YouTube channel just barely over 70,000 subscribers, was ran by Titanic Sinclair, her boyfriend, and more notably, Mars Argo. They made a series of songs together, a series of projects, but there only remain three videos on the channel today. One of the most popular ones, most cult controversial, delete your Facebook. Drunk. Delete Your Facebook was a video making fun of how people are in society towards social media. In this video, we're not really going to talk much about Titanic Sinclair as Mars Argo is the focus and we can go ahead and say that Mars Argo is one of the most extraordinary focuses of the whole poppy Titanic Sinclair situation. A lot of people miss her because her music was more original and not like the current poppies albums that are out today. The originality leaves a better feel for individuals like you and I. Now we may not know the exact reason for the separation between uh, Britney and Titanic Sinclair to end the GroceryBag.TV and propelled to Titanic Sinclair into the That Poppy project, but a lot of people say it all points to abuse. If you want to know more about the speculation of the abuse, you can watch these videos that I made earlier last year. A little bit about the early life. Brittany was born April 20th, 1987 and was raised in Saginaw, Michigan. She has been an equestrian since she was a child, owning two horses. She mentioned in an interview with Fearless Radio that she didn't grow up with video games due to her mother believing it would distract her from school and work. She was a biology student in college before she met Titanic on MySpace in 2008. He had convinced her to work with him on the YouTube channel for GrocerBag.TV, where they were making social commentary videos. They originally used Radiohead music for their videos, but they began making their own music as the band Mars Argo once YouTube installed their rules against copyright infringement. A little bit about what's presently going on with Britney. After her breakup with Titanic, Mars began part-time modeling for the Japanese fashion brand Little Sunny Bite. Owned by her friend Yopi, she began working on a solo album in 2015 and has been writing and recording music for it since then, which is likely for a release in late 2017 or early 2018. We have yet to see anything from it. We have speculative leaks, but nothing for sure. She was cast in the main role as Caitlin Weaver for the final three episodes of the TV show Caged in 2016, which was canceled before it could air due to unknown reasons. She appeared in a short film by her friend Max Landis, Wrestling Isn't Wrestling, a commercial for Google Pixel, and another one for Ear Skins. She is scheduled to have a cameo in the upcoming movie Ordinary Lovers, which finished filming this year. There's a lot more interesting information on this wiki page. Uh, that I'll put in the description for your guys' read and pleasure. You can get the discography of the music, the filmography, the, fi the filmography, and uh, trivia, and uh, some interesting added comments from your fellow peers. Now, after the breakup with Titanic Sinclair, it left a lot of mystery. Not with Titanic Sinclair, as we know he went on to create the Poppy Project, where they're now enjoying international fame and on tour from the the uh, fallout of GroceryBag.TV. As for Britney Sheets and what happened with Mars Argo, absolutely no idea. It became one of the biggest mysteries on the internet. The mystery and seemingly cult-like following of these projects spikes their audience's curiosity into just how deep the rabbit hole goes. The secrecy 
is carefully protected by Mr. Sinclair, who goes to great lengths in order to keep information about Mars Argo and Poppy's personal lives hidden. In a video entitled Numbers, Poppy recites numbers as the bell dings at seemingly random times. The bells, however, are far from random. Fans of Poppy have recorded each time the bell go off and it spells out the number of someone who had hosted an interview with Poppy before the project gained momentum. This was done to intimidate the person from releasing personal information about that Poppy. Does 336 mean anything to you? That's the length of a very secretive video that was released in the absence of Britney Sheets. A video featuring Mars Argo was released six months ago on XVTVI's YouTube channel entitled Everybody Wants It All, where she appears to be webcamming with a friend. She says that she is happy to have someone to talk to because she has no one else. At the one point in the video, she holds a gun to her head and asks, this is funny, right? The video contains secret message that can only be revealed by playing it backwards. The message goes as, if you want it all, you cannot be distracted by the illusion you have created. Only when the mind is silent can you see clear enough to enjoy your life and forget about your desires. Your desires are irrelevant. Not to scare any of you Poppy fans, but this could be an inevitable end to that project as well. Perhaps foreshadowing the content Sinclair will eventually produce with Poppy where the same thing happens. This connection might represent of how one pop star can easily disappear from media and quickly be replaced with another. Mars Argo being replaced with that Poppy. The channel that Mars Argo and Sinclair share, GrocerySugar.tv, has been wiped clean from existence. We've reached the point in the video where we talk about theories. So go ahead and bring them out if you got them. That's right fidget spinner of truth. I wasn't able to find the Illuminati protection glasses as I looked for them everywhere. Hopefully I'll find them as I clean more of the house, um, but you're gonna wanna hear this. It never dawned on me when I first started making videos about uh, that poppy Titanic Sinclair and Mars Argo that this could be an inevitable fact, that every piece of the project was planned for the sole reason of creating secrecy, in an occult following. I say this because the way that Grocery Bug TV ended, the way that Mars Argo disappeared, and how Mars Argo is actually the most popular aspect in the That Poppy Project mystery. The most popular aspect out of Titanic Sinclair, That Poppy, and everything to do with it. As no one really knows what has happened, but the popularity of Mars Argo is more of a legend now that resonates throughout the internet in like some kind of creepy ghosting way and i think this immortalizes more about the project than we would like to think the character of mars argo is something that has stood the test of time and i think will go down in the books of youtube for the future and I think this foreshadows exactly how the Poppy Project is about to end. On a larger scale, we may very well see the disappearance of Poppy as we know it. As interesting as this is, and oh my gosh, is it ever so interesting, there's always one thing that's a little bit more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. The original fidget spinner of truth. I'm gonna be giving this away to one of you, one of you lucky Rep Squad members. It's, it's not in the best shape ever, but it is the original fidget spinner of truth. The one that started my uh, career here on YouTube and it means a lot to me and i can't think of any better thing to do with it but to give it away to you so what you're going to want to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and so you can be in the comment section after every single video that's how you'll be repping and that's how you'll be gregging because greg the cat's going to be there but it is your biggest opportunity to win this because only if you have notifications turned on and you're a subscriber of the channel will you even have a chance to win the original fidget spinner of truth. And with that being said, I want you not to forget that I still am doing shout outs. I have some, 
but I'm not going to release them in this video. To have a shout out, all you have to do is be within the first 20 people in the video, in the comment section, to say that you want that, and you'll get it. But just in case you don't know how, go ahead to, and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. And that's all you got to do. This has been a great video, and I'm glad that you have joined. And I know that you know that this channel loves you.